Hello everyone and welcome to this short video. Today I will share with you how to do the gravity initialization of structures. There is more than one method and in this video I'm going to show only one approach. So we have this masonry structure here and we will apply a dynamic load on it. But first we want to have the gravity stresses. If we open the keyword here, we will see that we have only the gravity load one load load body z so z is going up so we have load body z we do not have any other load or any other prescribed motion so this gravity load is the only load that we have so we have this load and it is load curve id number two and when we see load curve id number two it's the gravity constant and it starts from zero until it reaches the maximum value and in this simulation I'm using seconds and millimeters and metric pounds for the mass let, let me plot the curve so we have the curve increasing gradually until it reaches its maximum value so I close this one and I close this one and I close this one the next thing that you need to know is control and termination and you can see here we have the termination time only at one second next as i said i'm using the implicit so here we have the implicit auto i put here one so the time step is automatically adjusted and i put implicit general i put this one equal to one to flag the implicit analy analysis and i put the dt zero as 0 0.01 my practice is to put this value as 100 from the termination time and i put the time step adjustable and lastly here i have implicit dynamics and here i put uh, this i mass equal to one so it is a dynamic analysis a dynamic implicit analysis although it is a uh, gravity load and it should be applied very slowly it, I do not want to use static I use dynamic instead because it's easier for it's easier to reach the convergence and here for gamma and beta I put 0 0.6 and 0 0.38 to apply damping so that the convergence happens uh, easier so this is all what I want uh, from the control then I have the most important thing here which is interface so i have interface spring back ls dyna and this keyword i just only define only one parameter which is this part set id so this part i this part set id will consist of all the parts in this model so if i go to set here set parts and here i have you can see all parts okay so now if i run this one and the result will look something like this and I will have this Dyna in file okay this is the most important file that I want this Dyna in file will consist of all the elements in the part set part set number three in my case and also it will have the stresses values so I will copy this one and I put a new folder here and then I open with, uh, or no need to open. I just right click here, and then let's say I say this one mesh and stress. So this file will have the mesh and also the stress. I say dot k. Now I take the original file, the original model, I paste it here. And then let's say this one I call it transient or dynamic. Transient. Then I have few options here. I what I want to do, I want to open with the notepad first. Okay. So what I want to do here, I want to delete all the nodes and all the elements. So I can uh, use the uh, notepad in and in, in case you don't want to 
use the notepad you also can use the ls repost so double click here and now i will delete all the nodes and all the parts so go to model keyword and then go to node right click and delete all and then go to elements go to elements right click delete and all okay now i need to uh, adjust the load curve for the gravity so define load curve now the first point should be 9.81 so replace accept plot so it should be constant this is done now i can add whatever velocity or other type of dynamic loads that i want so i save this one save overwrite yes and here what i can do i can open this one with the text editor again and then i can just add this include keyword just include and then the file name element mesh.k now i will save this one and done now you can see this file has only the keyword it doesn't have the data of the nodes and the element in the stress and uh, in this file it, when i open it it will call this mesh stress so let me correct that one the name is mesh stress mesh stress save this make close and then let me, if i open this one now you can see reading keyword file to the second keyword file which is mesh underscore stress okay close there is no warning no nothing so everything is working fine so now you are, you will see that we have this initial stress solid okay so if i go to this is a keyword file i have all the keywords and i have this initial initial stress solid and initial stress beam because i have beam elements in this uh, model so if i go to post process and go to the fringe call now if i let's say plot the z stress now you you will see i have uh, stress in the z direction in the x in all uh, these values for example the equivalent stress is here okay all right so i think uh, that's all what you need to know now you have this file is already complete and as i said earlier if you want to put like a prescribed motion or you want to put initial velocity then you can work on this file okay so for example i would say uh, boundary describe this spc set we have this one and uh, we have this one we have two actually we have this and this so these are actually duplicated so we need to delete this one as well because the data of the spc is or is also carried out in the dyna in file so it's actually a duplicate so we can either delete this one or this one this one is from the keyword this one is from the dyna in file so i can just right click here and then de uh, delete okay now i click ctrl s now i can I have the option to save by subsystem okay so i'm saving two different files so this all for this short video thank you very much and see you next time bye bye